G'day and welcome to my review of the PDP Talon Media Remote for Xbox One. Outside of the box, the remote contains standard features like a volume and channel rocker, but in Xbox fashion you'll find A, B and X, Y keys below the D-pad. Flip it over on the back you'll find a soft touch material and once removed there are slots for AAA batteries. These are included in the box so pop these suckers in and you're good to go. The keys are backlit and activate with motion. This is especially great for dark rooms. In my use case, my home theatre. So that being said, welcome to my Dolby Atmos home theatre. This room contains a full high def LED projector by LG. A 1TB Xbox One S Minecraft Edition console which is all fed into a Yamaha receiver capable of decoding Dolby Atmos and DTSX codecs. If you'd like to see a demo of Dolby Atmos in my home theatre, click the link in the top right hand corner where you'll find a video of Bruce chasing birds around the room in a 360 degree immersive demonstration. Now let's power on the Xbox with using the Xbox button at the top of the remote. Here you'll find the Xbox is using its IR blaster as a universal remote to signal the other devices in the room to start up. To set up the universal remote feature, go to settings, select power and startup, and power mode and startup. Then TV and power options, where here you can input your display and audio devices. This allows the Xbox to control volume as well as turn devices on and off. Let's take a closer look at the remote. As previously shown, it lights up with movement, which dims too quickly for my liking. You can find a dedicated one view button, a volume and channel rocker, as well as a dedicated subtitles button. These buttons alone are worth the upgrade over a normal Xbox controller, in my opinion. Now the rear does get pretty greasy, but this is in the back, so you're not gonna really see that. Apart from that, it is amazing in hand and you've got your general remote buttons. If you're wondering how the remote communicates with the Xbox, this is done via infrared. This can be shown by pointing the remote at the camera. Here's an example of the remote changing the volume on my AV receiver. And the one guide button is amazing for launching TV as well as selecting channels and seeing what's on. Once powering down the Xbox, all other devices will also be powered down. And finally, thank you for watching. I'd greatly appreciate it if you could click subscribe as I'm aiming for 2018 subscribers by the end of the year. Once this goal has been reached, I'll do a giveaway on the channel for subscribers only. Have a great day and I'll catch you in the next video.